Mile a Minute Weed is an invasive plant that grows as a vine and can carpet areas. It has a distinctive form with triangular leaves, lots of tiny thorns, and attractive berry-like fruit. In this edition of Pesky Plants, I'll introduce this species and what you can do about it. Mile a Minute Weed is an herbaceous annual vine. That means each year it's going to grow from seeds instead of having a perennial root system. Those vines are going to grow in overlapping layers, carpeting an area. Its leaves are attached to those vines in an alternate arrangement, not opposite, and they have a really distinctive triangular form with about each side of that triangle being the same length. Vines are covered with tiny thorns that recurve down and they can really get stuck in things, almost like Velcro. In addition to those leaves, the tips of those shoots are surrounded by a round leaf-like structure. That's where the flowers will eventually form and while they're not very distinctive, they're they will form berries that are brightly colored and attractive, starting out kind of a light pink color, maybe turning purple and steely blue. Um, those are distinctive. Inside each one of those is one small black seed. Vines are killed by frost, but you'll see those dead vines covering areas into the winter. After that, the seed will stay in the seed bank and will germinate. Seeds can continue to germinate for six or more years. Mile a Minute Weed is native to India and East Asia. Here in the U.S., it's widely established in the Northeast and the Mid-Atlantic. Closer to us, it's in Ohio and West Virginia. It likes a range of habitats, uh, from roadsides to old fields to woodlands. While it prefers full sun and wet areas, it can really thrive in a range of different sites. Mile a Minute Weed can grow incredibly fast, up to six inches a day for each one of those shoots. It's also a prolific seed setter. It produces seeds that are eaten by birds and other animals and carried long distances. In addition, those seeds remain viable in the soil for a long time. Seeds can also float and they can move downstream that way along rivers or in major flood events. Hand pulling vines can be an effective management strategy, but make sure to wear your PPE, gloves, long sleeve shirts, because those thorns can be really painful. In addition, because this is an annual, you really wanna take care that you're not spreading seeds around in that process. So if plants are already setting seeds, make sure to bag those up and destroy them instead of leaving them to germinate the next year. Mechanical removal, like with a string trimmer, can help reduce that seed set, but it's not going to kill the plant or prevent all of the seed set. While there are herbicides that can be used against it, there are some challenges with this as well because of the way it grows in those carpeting layers that kind of blanket each other and will protect the lower layers from that herbicide. There are some pre-emergence herbicides that you can use to prevent seeds um, in the seed bank from germinating and growing as well as post-emergence herbicides that you would spray on the foliage. Because Mile a Minute Weed is an annual, that seed bank and managing new seed is key. You're going to want to continuously monitor sites where you've done some management to make sure that new seeds aren't sprouting up and that you get them when they do. In addition, you don't want to move those seeds around to new areas, which is easy to do when you're moving soil or even if there's a waterway nearby that might accidentally do it for you. The sooner you can catch Mile a Minute Weed or any other invasive plant, the better for your management and the less you'll have to do to manage it into the future. Thanks for joining me today and learning a little bit more about Mile a Minute Weed. If you'd like to learn more, make sure to check us out online and follow us on social media. Thanks for doing your part to fight invasive plants and promote the health of your woodlands.